Movie yeah. Reviews Nomadland is the latest film directed by Chloe Zhao. It tells the story of essentially nomads. And if you don't know what that means yet, you need to watch this movie because this movie does a great job showing you the life of these people and just their way of living. Plot on IMDb reads this. After losing everything in the Great Recession, a woman embarks on a journey through the American West living as a van-dwelling modern-day nomad. So this film is based on a non-fiction book titled Nomad Land Surviving America in the 21st Century. It stars Frances McDormand and essentially follows her life as she's traveling from place to place living in her van interacting with some friends some family she's in between jobs we see her with quite a few jobs throughout this movie and this really i think more than anything tells a beautiful picture of what America looks like to a lot of people. You don't have to look far to see the heart that this movie is portraying. This is a movie about people who are struggling, at least for some of them, others who choose to be in this lifestyle. It really just give you this glimpse into their life. It, it kind of mixes this feel of like half documentary, half just drama. And why, why you say documentary, it's because a lot of people in this movie are played by real life nomads, just playing these somewhat fictional versions of themselves. If you look at the cast list for this movie, there's not a lot of actors in it because it's played by real life people just playing their story. And so you can tell that this movie was done with care. This movie was done to really give them a place to tell their story. And I think it works to an incredible amount because what Chloe Zhao does is she provides an outlet for these people and her directing style is absolutely gorgeous to look at. Now the only other movie that comes to mind when I hear her name is The Rider and I know a lot of people know her from that film. But this film is absolutely going to put her on the map. As I'm recording this, she already has won a Golden Globe for Best Director and this movie won Best Picture. So you have to assume she's a front runner to win the Oscar for Best Director. And she's also directing The Eternals, an MCU movie coming out later this year. So it's just absolutely insane to think how her career is taking off. And if you want to at least pretend like you're getting in on the start of it, you need to go watch this movie. To talk about other things critically acclaimed related to this movie, let's talk about Frances McDormand because I think she absolutely kills her role. Now, she didn't win the Golden Globe, but I would be furious if she was not nominated for an Oscar for this performance. Now, will she actually win? I have no idea because I'm honestly terrible at predicting this kind of stuff, but her performance is so grounded. It feels like a real authentic authentic person is trying to tell this story and I think to act in a role like this is honestly more difficult than most roles that we see in Hollywood because she's doing something that is so normal feels so real she's interacting with these real people yet having to be an actor doing that I think what she does is simply beautiful that and the cinematography is just gorgeous the score is beautiful I think technically speaking this movie is just a masterpiece. Now, is it my absolute favorite of the year? Definitely not. And I don't know if it would crack my top 10, if I'm being honest. I think this movie does drag in some places because it's very much that slice of light film, which is a term I hate using to describe cinema, but that's what it is. You're just kind of this fly in a wall experiencing this, this, and this. There's not really a protagonist, an antagonist. There's not even really a plot that surrounds this movie. It's just literally living through her life. And I think with that, there are some flaws in the storytelling because you can't really get a grasp of when the movie's ending. Where's the climax? What's happening next? It really just doesn't matter. This movie isn't trying to tell a specific story, but more just an overall broad picture of this lifestyle. A lot of critiques I've been seeing too is that this movie possibly idolizes this idea of like the good old days, or maybe we just need to sell everything and get up and leave. And that's not the message I necessarily took away from it, but I would not be surprised at all if someone watching this really thought that, because I think this movie does struggle to see like, okay, what is the point of this? Is this really just to kind of show us what this life is or is there a deeper meaning to this and i think this movie could have benefited from something whether it's commenting on capitalism or america as a whole or the process of moving on and going through grief 
because I don't want to give too much spoilers, but if there was any plot, I think that would probably be my takeaway of just, like, how someone fails to move on from previous traumas they've gone through. But this movie doesn't seem to care about that, which is fine, and I can't be upset because of that, because what this movie does do is, like I keep saying, gives you a glimpse inside this world of the nomads. And for that, I find it absolutely beautiful. I think if you like cinema at all, you're going to love this movie. There's a lot of things to like about it, from the directing to the performances to the technical aspects. I think all around, this is a near-perfectly made film, technically speaking. So in the end, I'm going to wind up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars if you follow me on Letterboxd. And you should. So that's Nomadland. Have you seen it? What do you think? Comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I will see you next time.